Mr. Kheer, thank you so much for uh, talking to us on Republic and you're finally joining us on the interview. I was particularly looking forward to this conversation after watching Vijay 69. I mean, words fall short of saying how impressive a film it is. You always do stories that promote hope. But uh, to play a sports icon at close to 70 and I can totally imagine how physically tiring the film must have been. Uh, from swimming to cycling to running, tell us all about it. So first of all, I don't feel 69. <laughs> I feel, uh, and it's nothing to do with uh, wanting to be younger. Um, it's something to do with what you actually feel. Uh, but Vijay 69 is a triumph, not only for me as an actor, but also as a person. Because the world has a habit of slotting you. They slot you that, okay, this man has now done so much work, so let's call him legend, thespian, veteran, and give him a lifetime achievement award, and then send him to a sunset uh, kind of a scenario. I have always broken those stereotypes. Right from my first film, I was 28, I played a 65-year-old man's role. Uh, there was a, this um, scenario of uh, being typecast, that you do your first film and for the rest of your career, I broke that also. And I'm not saying this arrogantly, I'm saying it because I'm a trained actor from the drama school. So that's what they teach us there. Uh, but Vijay 69, when Akshay Roy, the director, came to me with the film, uh, I'm, I don't, uh, I'm not a very good person being in water. Mm -hmm. I have water phobia. It means I have phobia of because uh, at a very early stage when I was wanting to learn swimming in Mumbai, uh, I was thrown by uh, the swimming coach into the water thinking that I will start uh, swimming on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, but that put me into a situation where I never went to, into swimming pool. When he said, uh, triathlon ke upar film hai, uh, swimming So he said, Koi baat nahi, we'll manage with a duplicate or something like that. Then I said, there is no point in doing a film where as a person I am not swimming and the film is about courage. Right. Film is about uh, crossing all boundaries or breaking boundaries. So at the age of 68, I did learn swimming, which was uh, very, very uh, self, giving me self-confidence that you can do anything like that. And uh, and I'm I'm very thankful and very happy that it has affected, it has touched people so much because they everybody all of us are running triathlons. Mm -hmm. In Vijay 69, I'm running the actual triathlon, mm -hmm. means swimming, cycling, and uh, walking and running. Uh, but all of us, you, me, people behind this camera, they are all running triathlons. The idea is to not give up. The idea is to always uh, try and sort of see what all can you do. And when People have sent me messages about how it changed their life, how they want to tell you their parents uh, to to not worry about getting old or something like that. And also younger people, they are also finding their own uh, reasons to do that. So when you say that words fall short of it, it's not uh, not only my performance. It's also you are somewhere inside you saying, I think this there is hope for any everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe in cinema of hope. I believe in happy endings. I believe in um, giving uh, courage to people. And off late, I'm wanting to do cinema like that. Talking about a moving performance, and I think uh, Signature again was a film that uh, brought tears to so many. Most importantly, I think it put out the challenges and tribulations of the middle class man. Yes. And uh, so many in that age group came to you yes. and cried in front of you and yes. said that they could relate with it and how difficult, I mean, they, it brought back their life experiences to them. I feel first of all great because that's, uh, that gives me courage to do something more on that uh, note. Uh, I'm a comfortable uh, actor now. I'm at, at a stage where I am not wanting to prove it to anybody that I can act. I did that in my first film, so I got over my uh, fear of uh, performance 
in my early stages. Uh, but then still you want to be constantly do something which is very important to you, uh, which world thinks of you very good. But in the last five, seven years, especially after I went to New York, I discovered there is so much uh, you can do without actually doing it. You know, you, if you feel right, you convey right. Uh, signature is about this man whose wife is in life support and uh, he has to decide whether she will be, uh, she, he should remove and sign that DNR paper. There is a cinema acting and there is a acting which you feel where people identify with you. Uh, strangely, both the characters of Vijay 69 and, uh, and uh, Arvind of uh, signature are completely different people but both of them are believable so i think that is what a triumph of an actor is and that can only happen when you don't have fear of failure mm. because actors play uh, b remain mediocre because they have this fear of failure so they they walk on a path which is already walked by somebody else i don't have any fear of failure because i feel that what will maximum happen people will say it was not great doesn't matter out of 542 films I have at least I can say 50 films of mine were very good and again I want to say that I'm not saying it arrogantly I'm saying it out of knowledge of having done these kind of films so signature when people come to me they identify because to play ordinary characters and people identify me is the most difficult thing to play characters where there is something or the other attributions that he's an angry man he has some quirks or something like that it's not very difficult to do that like Khosla Ka Khosla is the most difficult character mm. because he's like millions of middle-class people in the world uh, Arvind of signature is like millions of middle-class people middle-class to perform a real middle-class person uh, on a big screen or on a small screen is the most difficult thing I wanted to come to that part next when I personally saw both these films, I thought they should have released on the theatre and why didn't it come out? It came out on OTT. Uh, did you feel like that? Did you feel that? Uh... I feel actors uh, do want to see themselves on big screen. At least I come from that world where we became actors or I became an actor seeing the film on a big screen. Mm -hmm. And I have done films, Karma or any other film, big film, Hum Aapke Hain Kaun, Dil Wale Dulaniya Le Jayenge. Uh, hum and all this week they, they look good on big screen or even my English language films but the reach that uh, OTT platform gives you is phenomenal mm -hmm. it goes to 194 countries it gets translated subtitled so a film about ordinary people uh, has an extraordinary reach when they are on OTT platform uh, but uh, it's not in my hands if I was the producer I would have said that okay maybe uh, you can try first in cinema halls and then bring it to OTT, which is a norm. Uh, but I'm happy that they were released on uh, Z and uh, Netflix. They have, uh, have an amazing reach. From all over the world, people messaged, called relatives, friends who have not spoken to me for years. They said, Are Vijay 69 mein to aapne Kamal kar diya. I don't think, I think Kamal Kardia is also not necessarily as an actor, mm -hmm. but they identify with the character also. Mm -hmm. Both these characters are very ordinary. You're giving a whole new lease of life uh, to people in this generation, uh, or in this age group, I'd say, uh, both. Uh, you know, it, people put number to an age and said that, oh, you slow down at this age, oh, you have to take a back seat and uh, life is not as hunky-dory as it was in your youth. But uh, you're turning the tide in that way also and telling people that nothing stops you as long as you don't what, stop yourself. Sorry, I did not let you finish your uh, question, but I do not know on what basis my father kept my name Anupam in 1955. Uh, but then I think somewhere I wanted to justify that Anupam means Incomparable, just ki upma na ho. To main agar wo sab nahi karunga, to aap aise sawal kaise karenge? Mujhe kuch na kuch to karna padega. Ham apni boundaries khud hi band lete hain. Unfortunately, ham apne aap ko khud hi mediocre kar dete hain. Ham unless you see how much can you stretch yourself, 
हाउ विल यू नो यू आर केपेबल ऑफ सो मच पीपल फील कम्फर्टेबल कि हमने इसको स्लॉट कर दिया ये ऐसे है ये ऐसे है ये कैरेक्टर एक्टर है ये आई हैव ऑलवेज ट्रीटेड माई सेल्फ एज ए हीरो हीरो इज समबडी हु डज समथिंग एक्सेप्शनल यू अंडरस्टैंड हीरो इज नॉट नेसेसरली हु हैज हेयर एंड हु लुक्स इन अ सर्ट मैनर एंड हु सिंग्स एंड डांसेज अफकोर्स दे आर ऑल्सो हीरोज but for me who is an educated actor the definition of a hero is who does make a difference in people's lives so that is a very prominent characteristic in you i think that always comes out um at 28 you were playing a 64 year old man now at 70 you're playing these characters but uh, in a whole new way um also uh, how many of your contemporaries can uh have one film after the other where you are playing the main lead by uh, challenging myself it's not easy as you said in the beginning of the thing that i am a certain age physicality is difficult but i love it i enjoy uh, challenging myself i enjoy uh, if i don't do that as i said to you earlier that you will not ask me this question mm. i don't accept what life offers you i want to ch- take charge of life I want to decide what I am going to do. I don't want other to decide. This is oh, this has happened. To, we we do that to our parents. Unfortunately, when my father uh, retired at the age of fifty-five or 50, I think fifty-five, he went through a retirement depression for three years. Mm-hmm. Then he sort of took charge of himself and he started walking all over the place. He used to go to villages, etc. हम हमेशा already बना देते हैं जैसे ही retire होता है तो मेरा एक फिल्म में dialogue था कि मैं नौकरी से रिटायर हुआ हूँ जिंदगी से रिटायर नहीं हुआ हूँ आई हैव द लग्जरी ऑफ बींग फ्रॉम ए प्रोफेशन वेयर एज डज नॉट रिटायर यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिजिकलिटी एस्पेक्ट बिकॉज यू पोस्ट दीज वीडियोज ऑफ यू वर्किंग आउट वीव सीन यू अ सर्टन वे इन द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ योर करियर सडन यू शेड ऑल दैट वेट यूर लुकिंग यंगर इवन द वे यूर ड्रेसिंग आई एम एंजॉइंग बींग अनुपम खेर आई एम for many years when i was running i wanted to prove to the world bhai main lower middle class se aaya hu main chote shahar se aaya hu mere ko angrezi medium se main nahi aaya hu main hindi medium ka hu aur main acha actor hu to bahut sare saal usi mein nikal gaye ab mujhe pata hai main kaun hu aur mere ko koi fark nahi padta mujhe angrezi mein bolna aata hai ki nahi aata i think success does that to you also life does that to you ab mujhe koi fark nahi padta i now i want to work on myself and if i want to be the hero that i am want I'm trying to be uh, the lead actors i have to physically be fit in vijay 69 it was not easy to learn swimming at the age of 68 in vijay 69 it was not easy to do cycling so much and to run and in movies you know that it's not aapne ek shot de diya ek take de diya aur khatam ho gaya you have to do the same thing again and again you have to swim again and again for the same shot you and so i broke my shoulder it it came out of its socket but what uh, traumas and what turbulations and what difficulties you go through while doing something later on they became your stories ki maine kandha toda apna shooting karte waqt ya jab main uski shooting kar raha tha log mujhe saransh mein pehchante nahi the main kaun tha ya jab mera diwaliya nikal gaya tha jab main tycoon banna chahta tha so i think i believe in it that what does not happen in your life is good because later on the same things become these legendary stories of your life that i was not selected for nehru's role in gandhi it became a story mm-hmm. uh, for my own self that i slept on platforms uh, it was trauma at that time I mean, sleeping on a platform or on a on the beach on a newspaper it was tough but today when i look back i am telling you stories about that time so i think if the world gets encouraged and inspired it's a beautiful feeling so i want to talk about your uh, directorial film next that is too early great. to talk about I that i know but i have to for the reason that uh, i have learned from a lot of insiders in the industry who serve knows of the film uh, have great things to say about it i know it's too early but uh, since people are watching you on republic so tanvi the great is the name of the film that i have directed i directed my earlier film um jay jagdish 22 years back Uh, it was not my story it was rahul nanda's story and but i tried to do as decent a job as i could unfortunately at that 
on that year only Vikram Bhatt's Raj did very well. I think cinema was transitioning and uh, it didn't do commercially very well. And then I did not make any film and a story came my way uh, three, four years back and it really inspired me and I wanted to tell this story to the world. So I wrote the script along with two other writers, Abhishek and Ankur. And uh, I think the way I have looked at it now, uh, it can be an important film of our times. Everybody says that, but that's why I said it's too early to say. It has amazing music by M.M. Kiravani, sir. Uh, it has some great team. We have two Oscar winners in it, uh, uh, Kareem, sir, and um, Rasul Pukuti. I have a DOP uh, director, director of photography who is a Japanese brilliant uh, Keiko Nakahara. We have wonderful team. I have I have not announced the actors. Uh, so when the time comes, I would be very proudly speaking about this film. Okay, so uh, I know it has not been announced full-fledgedly, but uh, I got a whiff of it. So I think it is breaking news for our viewers. Uh, there is this... Uh, film that you're going to be directing after Tanvi the Great, The Return, yes, which is an India-Australia co-production. Yes. I am right. You are absolutely right. Are That's why you are a journalist from Republic. Thank you. <laughs> Please do tell us about that. So, uh, we are at Goa right now. We are at this Australia was the focus country for the International Film Festival of India. And uh, I had been working on a story I am never resting. I like to work. I love working because when you have been on the streets for three years, uh, then you tell God, God, I will never stop working. Uh, and this is my earlier time before I got Saranj. So I had been working on a film called The Return, a uh, very interesting story. And then I requested a friend of mine that I would like to meet uh, certain people. If uh, the Australian government, which is very helpful to uh, films and otherwise also, if they if it goes through, then I think hopefully by the end uh, of next year, around the end of next year, I will start my next film. There's a joy of directing a film. I discovered that while doing uh, Tanvi the Great. It's like, uh, because I am not uh, kind of a career director. I'm not a director director. I'm, I like to act. But uh, I discovered while doing Tanvi the Great but that it's so amazing to uh, make a film which you believe in, which the story you want to share with the rest of the world. Uh, then you create something and you create like it's like a child. It's like creating a baby. And then you suddenly see working the story out of it. So for whatever years that I'm going to work, I will be also wanting to direct uh, films uh, as much as I can. Um, and big inspiration comes from Clint Eastwood, who's at the age of 93 also directing a film. And uh, I can understand why he wants to direct, because it stimulates you. You are constantly obsessed with it. Tanvi the Creator, I was obsessed for a one year with the film, with the music, with the dialogues, with the uh, screenplay, everything. So the return is going to be that film, and um, it's a uh, when it when things materialize, um, then I think it will be a great. Uh, also, I want to make films about India, which is, which are international films, mm -hmm. which is about emerging India. Means filmmakers who have made uh, issue-based uh, Indian films and that they have done well abroad, yeah. which is fine, it's important. But I think it's um, there is a side to India which is brilliant, which is very amazing, which is uh, of developed India, which is which has other own uh, own issues. I want to make films about that India, and yet they can be international uh, standards. My staying in uh, New York for three years for that new Amsterdam really, really opened me up. Uh, and my horizons also. I was just going to come to that. So two things uh, since you've mentioned New Amsterdam. A, there were uh, great lessons to learn while you were working on New Amsterdam is what you've said um, in their style of working. Secondly, you've also been doing great work after you've come back to India, yes. post New Amsterdam. Um, when we were previously having that conversation, you were also mentioning to me that the kind of environment you created on your set of Tanvi the Great so many came and told you that we've not seen this in the Indian context or on an Indian film set. Um, so really, 
what learnings you take how are you executing it while you work here whenever i'm pushed to the wall uh then the person who emerges is very very courageously attractive uh what happened that when i was uh, shooting uh, my series in america i discovered what a joy it is to collect a team which knows their job uh i sometimes when i i feel that it, we don't do that so i collected not only unbelievably professionally brilliant team but also wonderful people mm. that make that gives you courage so we became a family and they said everybody should come together and work towards trying to make a, a good film nobody decides when you decide to make a great film it will never be a great film because you are constantly trying to work on it you just try to make a good film which can become great later on so uh, so that was helped because i was working in new amsterdam with brilliant actors uh, technicians writers uh, so that uh, it made me evolved as a person and that's what i have applied in uh, in my work also when i came back from new york i had to come and unfortunately kiran was with the cancer she's uh, the cancer is in remission now but i did my best work i think kish kashmir files unchai kartike signature um new Am- uh, new amsterdam ke baad ye vijay 69 i have kangana's film coming uh, emergency I have Anurag Basu's film uh, Metro in Dino uh, coming, and I also uh, have uh, Tanvi the Great coming. So it's uh, if you don't learn, if you don't evolve yourself, then what is the idea of living? You feel very passionately about the state of affairs in the country, and you come out also to put out your position on it on social media. But sometimes you also hold back, or sometimes you uh, take a social media break. is that a conscious pattern i do that i do that look uh, again people like to slot you because when you talk about the country they want to say that oh he's political hmm. because people want to feel comfortable with themselves i have never uh, yes uh, if i have an admiration for the leader who who is taking my country to another heights and levels then i think it's a brilliant feeling if uh, so whenever i've spoken i've spoken about that's what i was taught to tell the truth however discomforting it is uh, because i want to be popular with myself first then with the rest of the world i don't want to either smart enough sometimes to now not talk about certain things but i have always spoken about the country now people have the habit of sort of putting you in slot so they say oh he is talking about this party or he is he has his wife is a bjp um, or was a bjp member of parliament so he is uh, more of bjp kind of a guy so i do i am raised as a hindu uh, person i am raised among the chants of mahamrityunjay pat or um, hanuman chalisa so i do put a tilak or i don't sort of hide myself uh, from that so i do speak about it i am uh, i'm a religious person in terms of that i pray every day uh, but i'm not uh, i have great uh, respect for other religions i speak about india freely and uh, it makes a difference to a lot of people because we need to speak about our own country today uh, india is the most emerging amazing power and what has why is it happened that way in the last 10 years certain things have happened the way mr narendra modi has represented that country worldwide uh, is is unbelievable i love it when his pictures when we have g20 or we have uh, sark or something like that and he is in the center of things when did that happen last so if i am if i have an admiration for mr my prime minister who is elected democratically uh people confuse it with uh, oh he is he has a certain line of uh, thought i will always want to speak about my country because my country is 8 years older than me india was born in 1947 i was born in 1955 we both grown up together we have both uh, seen uh, ups and downs of the country and i am protective towards my country 
today's uh, generation may not show their patriotism or nationalism, but I feel they find them very patriotic and things like that in their own manner. Because somehow or the other, in the last few years, we have all become a aspirational. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I deal with, uh, I've, I think what rules I apply at my, at my home, I apply it to my country also. So if people get confused about it and they want to uh, uh, have their own issues about that, that's too bad for them. I am going to be like this. So the other side to you, which is that you always share your story to inspire people. Uh, you always talk about uh, the difficulties that you've come across in life and uh, uh, you want to impart knowledge. Now that also comes in the form of actor prepares. Um, and my books. And your books. And the Guru Kher Avtar, which uh, is very seriously a part of you because you want to share your life lessons with people. Yeah. But I, I believe you wanted to take that in a more organized format. But I believe your films have taken over. What is it? Where have you done your research? <laughs> huh? I want to start. No, I think uh, it's very important. My father used to say the easiest thing in the world is to make somebody happy. Mm -hmm. You can only do that when you are happy yourself and happiness is practice, you have to practice to be happy and then you are happy then I can make you happy or people uh, happy. You cannot make other people happy if you yourself are unhappy. And all the books that I have written, three books, I'm on my writing on my, f on my fourth book now, I'm, I, they are about lessons life taught me, they are about all that. So then I thought that it will be interesting. Uh, to have a course of life, and this is also breaking news for you, uh, which is uh, which I am going to uh, start very soon. I have been working on it for the last uh, nine to ten years, and uh, that will be launched very soon because I think we are living in a world where you are being made to feel that somebody else is doing better than you. To anybody. You are made to feel insufficient, that you are not, because we are putting up our best uh, life on our social medias. You hardly see unhappy people on social media, but that doesn't mean that you are not unhappy. So you feel weak, people feel uh, insecure, and where do they draw their strength from? The strength has to be drawn from your own self. So if I come up with something where you will feel that I am strong enough, I am optimistic enough, I am happy enough and it's okay to be feel, to feel low, it's okay to feel down and out, it's okay to in, uh, indulge in self-pity. So then it will make a difference and I think it's time to give to the world what I have learned because this world has given me, this industry, this world, these people have given me so much. A small town boy from Shimla has come to Bombay and is talking in... in, in International Film Festival of India to you about my life and what a life 542 films 40 years means and I have seen my ups and downs so I think it's important to share what this world has given me what India has given me what cinema has given me what people have given me what people have taught me it's important to share that. Even the uh, stories that you share on social media, the encounters that you have mm. with the most normal, common people, um, but the way you tell their story, you make it extraordinary. Everybody is extraordinary. My simple theory is that you are born extraordinary. You are born uh, different. That's why your fingerprint does not meet, match with anybody in the world. So that means you were born with, and then life makes you mediocre, or life takes, or uh, it takes over your life, and you become what you become, or your own fears make you like that. So when I see a man who is selling comb on the uh, on the traffic light, and I and I see he, I I see his amazing 70 year old man is selling comb. Now that becomes comical because he is selling it to me, and and I am telling him, मुझे तो मत बेचो. He says, हाँ वो बात तो सही है. जैसे हो भैया जी ठीक है हैं अब तो राज तो रंग बिरंगी गंगिया बेच रहे हो हैं हमको है ना हमारा उम्र हो गया ना आपको हमको खुद काम दिलाऊँ ना ना आपके साथ रखो ना का थैली उठाने को हम नहीं नहीं आप तो थैली नहीं उठाना आपकी क्या उम्र है 
सत्तर में थी कम पर कोई बात नहीं उसमें क्या है काम करते रहना चाहिए कंगिया बेचते रहना चाहिए बस मुझे कंगी नहीं बेचनी ठीक है थैंक यू आपका बात सही है ना ये लो थैंक यू और काम करते रहो कोई काम ही कर खुश रहो मेहनत ही कर मेहनत करते मुझे अच्छा लगता है जब आप मेहनत करते हो मैं आपके सब लोगों को बताता हूँ की देखो भैया जी कितनी अच्छी मेहनत करते हैं He he wants money because he has to to go back home and sort of uh, provide to his family. I I I am a people's person. I love people and I, I enjoy their company. I'm comfortable with who I am. And when you're comfortable with who you are, you can look the extraordinariness of other people also. So at this stage, with all the success, with all the awards, uh, and again, Vijay sixty nine among the top five on uh, Netflix, uh, how much does uh, success still excite you, oh, very, or failure still bother you? I am very happy to be successful, uh, but you, I am a successful person. Look, I have been enough. I have seen enough over here. People, success can't be measured. Somebody else is always doing better than you, as I said to you. If I compare to Mr. Bachchan, maybe then I'm not as successful as him. If I compare to Brad Pitt, I'm not. But if I compare to Anupam Khair, that what a journey, what a journey for that small town boy. It's unbelievable. But I am a successful person because I am okay with who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. That is the biggest success. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't like adulation. I like awards, adulation. I'm making these films. I want the the film. I want Tanvi the Great to be the best film made because we put in that hard work. I feel that Vijay sixty nine and Signature are both amazing films. I feel uh, the kind of work that I'm doing is phenomenal uh, in terms of because I'm pushing my my own boundaries. Uh, I love success. I love success because people come to me and said, "Oh, say, ji, हमने आपका वीडियो देखा, आप बड़ा अच्छा काम करते हो." मुझे कितने सारे लोग मिलते हैं एयरपोर्ट पे या पे वो. It's so strange and so uh, so I'm so thankful. They don't only talk about my films. Hmm. They talk about the person that I am. Hmm. They talk about that you inspire us. इससे बड़ी ग्रेटिफिकेशन और क्या हो सकती है और फियर और फेलियर मुझे कभी था ही नहीं बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज इन नाइन्थ ग्रेड माई फादर टोल्ड मी फेलियर इज एन इवेंट एन एवर पर्सन बिकॉज आई हैड फेल्ड इन सम एग्जाम और समथिंग लाइक दैट आई हैड लेस मार्क्स सो वेन योर ओन फादर एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन टेक्स अवे द फियर ऑफ फेलियर देन यू देन यू आर अ किंग इन द वर्ल्ड एंड सम हाउ आई सी माई लाइफ एज माई ऑटोबायोग्राफी आई सी माई लाइफ कि ये मेरी स्टोरी चल रही है huh. the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra yes. you have to discipline your life you have to not be lazy in your thinking because jaise ki ek vijay 69 ki badi kamal ki line hai ki sapno ki koi expiry date nahi hoti hai sapno ki na koi expiry date nahi hoti to sapno ki koi expiry date nahi hoti hai and the more you dream the more you can sort of really achieve and according to me all dreams come true if you work hard and be honest thank you so much for speaking to us you're very good i must say <laughs> i love talking to you thank you thank you for speaking to us